असातो हिता की अध्याय में व्याख्या से आना है तो वह भगवान धर्म करें यदि आयो हो पत्तियों में तब पितों से पत्तियों में तैने यह तो ना न किंचित द्रव्य में कांत या न हितम हितम वह अस्ति लिखे थे आचार्य आह भूदे तब तो ना सम्यक यह कलो यस्मात द्रव्यानि स्वभाव तह संयोग which would be congenial to the life of the person. Now, there are certain things which are compatible and there are certain things which are not compatible to the life. Now, the man has to live in the nature and in the nature you have certain things which are compatible and certain things which are not compatible. So, there is a discussion about that issue. The discussion is, uh, uh, there is nothing which is absolutely compatible or absolutely suitable to the body and the other way there is nothing like a absolutely non suitable to the body this is one version another version is a substance can be suitable to a certain condition in a certain uh, specific condition and a substance could be non suitable or incompatible for certain other conditions like a biohypatium something which is suitable or which uh, helps in maintenance of a water condition may not be suitable for the pitta this is one logic the other logic is uh, there are certain substances which can be essentially suitable throughout and some which are not suitable ahita also and they can be again they can be modified their suitability or compatibility can be modified by combining with other substances so uh, there could be when you have combined two of the substances either it may become suitable or may be non suitable this is how the possibility there are two uh, these aspects or two views on these uh, dietetics in the other traditional approach tatra ekanti jani jati satnyat salila ghrita dukta odana prakriti ni now the sushuta follows the view like there could be certain of the substances which could be essentially suitable all the times irrespective of the physical condition and certain substances, certain activities may not be uh, suitable throughout. Now, those ekantitan, without any combination, the substances like salila, water, ghrita, ghee, dugdha, milk, vodana, the ri uh, food, rice, these are considered as ekantitan. They are always suitable to the body. There will be no reactions with the, these substances taken in proper quantities and taken alone without combination. These are the substances which are suitable. Of course, in the present day situation, there are people who say that they have allergy to the milk also. There are people who have allergy to the rice also. These are the questionable issues, uh, discussion issues. I will come to that part later on as you go into further discussion. We will discuss certain of those issues too. Yekanta ahita nitu. There are certain activities which are ahita or uh, non-suitable. And those are dahana, pachana, maranadisha, pravartani, uh, anala, kshana, vishadini, anala, the fire which is having that, uh, which is initiated or which has that activity of burning or killing. Now, fire can be suitable in certain conditions. The, you are in household when you cook the food that is suitable, is compatible, whereas the fire in the uh, wild it can be non-suitable. Kshara, again Kshara also can be compatible for a certain th therapeutic procedures but when taken as a food it can be incompatible. Which are poisonous also. Poisons also can be uh, uh, compatible at times by combination and at times it could be com uh, harmful and rather if it is taken alone these are harmful. Kshara, Visha or Anala, Fire without control Kshara without any uh, regulation or Visha poison also can be cut, uh, harmful. Sanyogad Aparani Visha Tulyan Bhavandi, if improper combination of food substances can be as good as poisons as such. Hita hita nitu va yad vayo hapatyam tat pitasya apatyam iti. Now in certain conditions a substance could be suitable, either a combination or a single substance may be suitable in certain condition, whereas in certain other conditions it may not be suitable. Like, a substance which is suitable for value may not be suitable for pitta. Now, that's about the basic discussion about the hita, ahita or suitability as such. It's an area of high controversy like whether everything is compatible or not. 
It all depends upon the how the body reacts to the substance. A human body may react to a substance either based upon the genetic qualities, environmental properties, or at times temporarily transiently due to any of those specific conditions. Uh, even to the food, rice you take, it could be like in certain seasons, rice may not be compatible as uh, you could see. In uh, certain physical conditions, rice may not be suitable and so on. So suitability or compatibility of the food would be based upon multiple factors and all the factors need to be considered and these details like which are those factors which are to be considered you will come across in the later chapter so there will be more of discussion about these dietetics and preparation in the coming chapters this chapter is only about the basic idea of the suitability as such tata sarva praninam ayam aharartham vargahu padishyate the ahara varga the uh, food substances which are used and many of those food substances which are used in those days they are either their identity now is difficult or some of them may not be available. Ratashali is a red variety of the rice uh, which we use of raw rice as such. Shastikashali is a, the small uh, size of the rice as such. We have many varieties of the rice among them Shastikashali still is available. Then uh, uh, Kangu, Kramuka, Kangu is uh, again a sort of cereal. Uh, probably something like your uh, Siridhanya as such. Kramuka is uh, the betel nut. Then uh, Kundaka, Kundaka again is a cereal, Some, again one variety of the Siridhanya. Panduka, Pikaka, Pramodaka. These are of course so, uh, difficult to identify now, which are these, but probably they are vari different varieties of the cereals. Exact identification based upon these names now is difficult. Then uh, pushpaka, uh, uh, pushpaka is a cucumber, uh, this uh, uh, cucumber bitter family, cucumbers as such. Kardama, uh, kardamaka, kardamaka is a, the uh, uh, lotus seeds. Uh, then shakunahrata, sugandhaka. Again, shakunahrata is a, a seed which is a, uh, carried by the birds. Now, when the birds will eat the seeds, uh, only when it has become ripened, and when those uh, ripened seeds have fallen down, that's considered to be a paksha as such. This is a very important concept. Identification of a proper food and uh, the capability of that in among the animals and birds is uh, much more sensitive than the human beings. Human beings have lost that capacity. Sugandaka, Karama, Nivaraka, Kodrava, Uddalaka, Shamaka, Godhuma, Yava, Vainama, Ena, Harina, Kuranga, Mrugamataka, Harina, Yena, Kuranga, Mataka, and non vegetarian food of different animals. Uh, it could be deer, it could be the other uh, relatively not uh, usual animals, uh, food which are where the food is used to, as such. Nimaraka, Uddaraka, these again are the serial seeds. Identification of them would be quite a difficult as such. Damstra, uh, Karala, Krakara, Kapota, Lava, Titirika, Pingala, Vartira, Vartika, Mugga, uh, these are the non vegetarian, the flesh of different animals. Mugga, Vana Mugga, Makustha, Kalaya, Masura, Mangalya, Charana, Chana, Kahara, Yenama, Adaki, Satina, these are all the dicotyledon seeds, seeds which are, are maybe the greens which have the dicotyledon property. The, which we call as bedding. So different varieties of those. So you have monocotyledon cereals which are rich in carbohydrate, then the dicotyledon cereals which are rich in protein, and then the non-vegetarian food also, and uh, uh, sakina dhanya. Another is uh, now of course chana is uh, the Bengal gram. Sakina is a uh, 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 this um, uh, arhar seed, arhar uh, seed of red variety. Uh, which is uh, also is among the apatya dravya, satina is considered as apatya in many of the conditions. Whereas uh, Sushuna has included them in the hitha dravya. So there is another of the controversies. Satina dhanya is uh, one of the apatya dravya uh, which uh, can produce the handicode syndrome. The uh, seeds which are reddish in color, the variety of varha which is uh, mixed in that varha, that's the satina dhanya, so which is considered to be the apatya. So there is another of the controversy. Again, we'll keep it at that level. We'll not go beyond that. 
then chilli vasuka sumeshanaga jeevanti kanduriya ka manduka pranya these are all the different varieties of the leaf materials materials which are used in the form of leaf fresh leaves which are used in the food gavyan bhrudam the ghee of goes saindha lavana dadima amalakam ityesha fruits of different variety sarva prani naam samanyata prakshramah these are considered to be generally samanyatah generally for all the leaves these are considered as prakshramah suitable for all uh, so there is a list of substances which could be used regularly without much worry about that possibility of sensitivity is lesser with this substances this this is what we have derived from that tatra brahmacharya nimatashayana ushmodaka snana निशा स्वप्न व्यायाम एक ब्रह्मचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यचर्यच
that residue of a high yielding substance. That the curves fail and below hypista the floor of these rays or some uh, serial acid. The and mamsa sample, other item mamsa, mutton and madhya alcohol, jambo, the flesh of uh, wild animals, kilji uh, mamasya, variety of a fish, godhavaraha. Now, godha is a lizard. Now, whether the people were easy, eating lizards at that time, whether lizards are used as a food, again questionable, uh, big question. Varahamsa, uh, is a um, uh, 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 bass as such. These are not to be taken with the, the milk as such. And uh, now in the present day situation that compatibility, incompatibility with the food is not at all a, a part of the dietetics. But the food allergy, allergy produced to the food is a major concern. And uh, the lot of issues, lots of literature is presented over the food allergy and many of the food substances are identified as a having more of the allergens but this again has a lot of limitation considering what we have in ironic text acid where we will deal with more of that when we go into the next chapters about ahara and preparation so on compared to that the details which you see in the modern dietetics is uh, absolutely very negligible but all that we know is about the incidence of this food allergy and that incidence of the food allergy has a specific pattern the incidence of the food allergy is a maximum in so-called developed countries like America and then Japan or so on in the eastern province. Whereas they are comparatively lesser in the so-called underdeveloped countries. And India comes under the zone where the food allergy incidence of the food allergy is a lesser. So they, this gives some lessons like the native food habits of these content countries where and most of the times or if at all you go into more detail, those countries which have a lesser incidence of the, uh, this um, food allergy, there the vegetarian food content is more and there is a traditional native system of preparation of the food where many of these spices or others are added. Those countries where non-vegetarian food habit is more prominent and while the addition of the spices is comparatively lesser and the food preparation doesn't have a native method the incidence of the food allergy is more now of course this is another area of lots of confusion and um, controversy but anyway incidence of the food allergy is uh, quite high with many of the substances and uh, this is a common list a frequently used list of uh, commonly used to food substances uh, allergy incidence of the allergy in western countries this is from the us data from the us and uh, of course from our uh, native food substance factors and the incidence of the allergy we don't have this kind of a incidence most of the food which is used traditionally they would not have the same type of the allergic complications as such rather we may have more complications of the food poisoning because of uh, improper techniques of uh, main, uh, preservation, improper uh, techniques of uh, maintenance of the uh, hygiene of the area of preparation. These are the other issues. Uh, again, certain of those issues we will discuss in due course of time. Rogam satnyanca desham karam dehancha buddhiman abhyaksha adnyadikan bhavan rogu vrtehe prayudeta. So, whatever we have discussed about the dietetics, that's uh, till now is for the healthy person. Whereas in a disease condition, patients who have a disease, considering the roga, satnya, again that uh, the acceptability or allergy, allergen and non-allergen, these factors also should be considered. Desha, kala, these have factors have to be considered. And avesha, agni adhikan, the agni bala of the person has to be considered. And then a suitable diet has to be advised. A diet, advice of a diet in a patient with disease is based upon these multiple factors. Avastantara Bahulya, the Roga Dinam, Yavastidam, Dravyam, Nechanti Vishada, Ichanti Swastarakshane. Those food substances which are used for the healthy person may not be suitable for all the Roga, and in the Roga condition, you will have to modify this diet, and then the combinations also have to be modified. Dayo Anyatara Dane, Vodanti Vishadu Dhyo, Dutasi, Ekant Hitam, Visham Ekantadu, Ahitam, Yevam Victor Asheshu, Dravyeshu, Salila Dishu, Ekant Hitam with the Vatsa Sushudan and Yatha. 
the ekanta hita and ekanta hita again there was a bit of confusion still with the students then the teacher clarifies the ekanta hita is when a substance is suitable for the majority of the people there could be a situation where even a ekanta hita a, a suitable substance may become a poisonous or can be harmful when it is combined like dugdha milk is considered as ekanta hita it could be suitable for majority but when it is given in combination with certain substances like matsya then it can be ahita and hence every time you have to consider these aspects ato anya anya bi sanyoga ahita ni vakshama ha now certain of those um, specific examples of the ahita dravya combinations and again the common variety of the combinations used in those days they are mentioned here nama viruda dhanya ಧಾನ್ಯೈ ಹೊಸ ಮಧು ಪಯೋ ಗುಣ ಮಾಷೇವ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ಯ ಆನುಭವದ ಔದಕ ಮಿಶ್ರಿತಾದಿನಿ ನಾಭ್ಯವರೇತ ನಮ ವಿರೂಢ ಧಾನ್ಯೈ ಎ ಸ್ಪ್ರೌಟೆಡ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಫ್ಯಾಟಿ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಸ ಆರ್ ಮಧು ಪಯೋ ಗುಣ ಮಾಷೈ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ವಿತ್ ಮಾಷ ದಿ ಆಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ನೌ ನೌ ಸ್ಪ್ರೌಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫರ್ಮೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಟು ಫ್ಯಾಷನ್ಸ್ ನೌ in the present day situation if you look at the dietetics and the details of the dietetics the uh, there is lot of lot of information lot of uh, articles presented about the advantages of using a sprouted food and uh, fermented food and, and fermentation and sprouting are the two considered to be one revolutionary approaches in the dietetics now and the majority of those health advisers they suggest about the same but susan says those are uh take to be taken in with the proper guidance combination of a sprouted seed with the other substances like uh, madhu payoguda it can be harmful it's absolutely true to a great extent sprouted seeds of course when you sprout there will be activation of biochemical substances many of the acidic substances are produced and it will have a acidic ph and when it is presented with the, some other substance which can react in that and chemical biochemical activity of the sprouted seeds will be more and of course it will be easily digestible the nourishment value is true but when it is taken in combination with the other substances then there will be harm asset and hence when you take use the sprouted seeds as a diet advice you have to be careful and it, it should be taken as far as possible alone without combining with the other substances multi grain sprouting and so on this can be harmful that's all but which is a fashion now then the gramya anupadaka pishitadan abhyavaret na payo madhyam rohini shakam jatuka shakam va asniyat with the payo and madhu milk and uh, this honey rohini jatuka shaka now rohi, these are the leaves of different animals again questionable like what is that jatuka and what is rohini questionable balaka marni kulma shabhyam the combinations of balaka and varuni again going into the details of what are those exact materials and whether they are really used now question mark kakamachi vipari manichabhyam kakamachi is still being used which we now call as a vitamin soap often used in the preparation of the food it should not be used with vipari manicha nadi bhanga shaka kukuta dadhini naika dyam the nadi bhanga is a the var that drumstick and kukuda the kukuda is um, uh, uh, chicken chicken and dadhi curds uh, these should not be taken together uh, there are certain preparations where chicken is processed with the curds as well. i don't know i am not uh, an expert in that but i have heard that there could be some preparation of that sort and uh, i think uh, shawarma shawarma i think the name is shawarma and Uh, very recently there was some incidents of uh, some poisoning with the shawarma and death now, again it's not the issue i am not sure about that so i am not an expert in that field it's only a guess work madhuja ushnoda kana panam hani with the warm water should not taken pitte na amsa mamsa ama mamsa ni ama mamsa raw flesh with the, the bail substances as such shura krishara payasam shrika jam alcohol and payasa they should not be taken together samira ke sahatira shashpuri hi samira ka is again uh, a variety of alcohol which should not be taken with the, the chakuri prepared out of utila uh, i don't know whether this is a common use with the alcohol or not matse isa ikshvikara na 
the fish with the ikshvika sugar or the sugar variation gudena kakamati with the guda kakamati madhuna mulakam gudena varaham madhuna cha saha virudham these are the substances which are considered as virudhahara these are simple examples and that could be many of those kshirena mulakam amra jambava ashwa vichukara godhascha the flesh of animals with amra and jambava sarvamsha matsyan payasa all the fish with the, the milk in certain books it is mentioned only chilichi mam se with the milk whereas the sushil says all the fish with the milk visheshana chilichi mam specifically chilichi mam kadali phalam dana phalena payasa dadna takrena va kadali phala banana fruit with the coconut milk and very often we use is present as rasayana and rasayana is one of the favorite substances and according to sushuda it is a uh, incompatible dadna takrena a banana fruit taken with the uh, this curds or with the butter milk also is considered as a, a apatya lakucha palam paisa dadna masha supena va prap paisa paiso ante va this lakucha phala should not be taken with the the milk or it should not be taken with the masha supa it should not be taken either prior to the consumption of milk or after the consumption of the milk these are considered as a, the swata viruddha based upon basic quality karma viruddha there are substances which could be having the karma viruddha antagonistic due to their biochemical activity which we now use the word antagonistic of course antagonist word is used in pharmacology only for the medicines it's not used for the dietetics in the dietetics you don't use that word antagonistic but karma viruddha is something like a antagonism kapotan sashapatayla dhrishtan na adhyat the flesh of kapota should not be taken with the sashapatayla and it should not be fried with the sashapatayla i don't know sashapatayla as it kapinjala mayura lava tittir godha se eranda darvya nisdha eranda taila siddha va na adhyat Uh, the flesh of those animals should not be processed in the arena there and among those common precious godha is considered uh, named very frequently in sushuda that's also an interesting issue then comes a bhajane dasha ratra parishudan sarpihi a ghee stored in a bronze vessel for more than 10 days maduja usne hi usne va hani with the usna virya dravya or warm substances are usne va in warm season matse parite paripachane shringa vegra paripachane va siddham kakamati kakamati along with matse or the shunti that should not be taken tilakalka siddham upedika shakam tilakalka and upedika again upodika is question mark like which is a real substance question mark probably one of the leaf vegetable which is used nani kelena varaha vasa paripashta balaka with coconut varaha vasa Uh, should not varah uh, vasa spray uh, fried balaka again another of the uh, leaf seed leaf type of vegetable then bhasam angara shulyam nasna nasniya the bhasa is bird and the flesh of that bird without angara should not be taken ato mana viruddha nokshamah then there is a viruddha hara or a which can be harmful based upon the ratio of the two substances certain of the substances could be harmful if taken in equal ratio some of the substances could be take uh, harmful if they are taken in a altered ratio and the proper ratio of the substance is another of the factor which is a, a decision about suitability of uh, the food and examples are madhu muni madhu sarpishi marta stulya nashni other madhu and water madhu and sarpi in equal quantities should not be taken ಸ್ನೇಹೋ ಮಧು ಸ್ನೇಹೋ ಜಲ ಸ್ನೇಹೋ ವಿಶೇಷ ಅಂತರಿಕ್ಷ ಉದಕ ಅನುಪಾನೋ ದಿ ಸ್ನೇಹ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಆರ್ ಮಧು ಹನಿ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಎನಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಆರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ವಿತ್ ಅದರ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ದ್ರವ್ಯ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಅತ ಊರ್ಧ್ವ ರಸದ ದುಂಬಾನಿ ರಸತೋ ವೀರ್ಯತೋ ವಿಪಕ್ಷದಷ್ಟ ವಿರುದ್ಧಾನಿ ವಕ್ಷಾಮಃ देयर ಆರ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಟು ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ based upon their rasa virya vipaka and again given examples are tatra madhura amla rasa virya viruddho combination of madhura and amla rasa dravya together can be rasa virya viruddha madhura lavana cha madhura katuto cha sarvata madhura lavana and madhura kataka katuta dravya should not be used now these are all the very uh, critical issues in 
the preparation of the food combinations food combination is a another of very important issue and quite detailed in the paka shastra madhura tikta rasai paka abhyam madhura tikta should not be used because it can be against each other in the rasai and vipaka madhura kashaya cha amla lavana rasada amla and lavana they are opposite each other based upon the rasa amla katuko jarsa vipaka abhyam amla katuka bidha rasa and vipaka amla tikta amla kashaya cha sarvada amla tikta and amla kashaya should not be used together which they can be harmful lavana kotuko rasavipaka abhyam lavana tikto lavana kashaya cha sarvada katu tikto rasavipam katu kashaya cha tikta kashaya u rasada so combination of these different rasas is considered as uh, non suitable but at the same time sarva rasa abhyasa consumption of all the rasas is considered as a, a one of the tatya so the issue is you should have the consumption of all the variety of the rasas but not mixed together they should be taken separately now taratama yoga anusta bhavan ati snigdhan ati rukshan ati usnan ati shitan ityavanadin vartayata now anything which could be good or bad should not be taken in either excess or too little of that so quantity is another of this uh, factor which decides about the stability any of the ati snigdha or ati ruksha ati usna ati shita anything in excess would be harmful so taratama yoga as the quantity is again a factor which decides about the suitability viruddhan evam adini viruto yani kanichid tani ekanta hitanya vishesham vidya hita hitam these viruddha aharas which are based upon the media they are always harmful they are ekanta ahita they should never be taken then vyadhim indriya gorbhagya maranam chadigachati viruddha rasa vigyani bhunyano anatma bannara these viruddha ahara consumption can result in diseases indriya gorbhagya weakness of the organs different organs of the body or even death can occur due to viruddha rasa vigya and hence you have to take care in the preparation of the food यत्किंचित दोष मुक्लेश भुक्तम कायान निर्धारित रसादिषु अयथार्थम वा तद्विता राय कल्पते अनदर जनरल इंडिकेशन टू डिसाइड वेदर इट इज स्टेबल टू यू और नॉट इज व्हेन यू कंज्यूम एनी फूड सब्सटेंस इफ इट डजंट प्रोड्यूस द सिम्टम्स ऑफ दोष मुक्लेश द सिम्टम्स ऑफ दोष मुक्लेश आर द फ्लैटुलेंस इरिटेशंस पर्सिस्टेंट इरिटेशंस इन द सेम स्मेल आर मे बी a irregular bowel habit either a diarrhea or constipation these are the major signs of the dosha utkarsha the first signs of the dosha utkarsha and if any substance doesn't pro, uh, produces these uh, symptoms or bhuktam kayana nirhareta if it doesn't get expelled in a proper time so usually by 24 hours whatever you have consumed should be expelled out and if it produces a constipation if it retains in the body for a longer uh, duration rasadishu ayathartham cha if it produces a improper appreciation of the taste if the taste is altered then that can be a cause for the disease so when you do not know the basic details of the food prepare if you depend upon these signs then you may consider whether it can be suitable to you or not viruddha ashana jan rogan pratihanti vivechanam vamanam shamanam vaapi puram hita sevanam if at all you have take consume the group darshan eh? if and if it is uh, identified early a better option best option would be virechana a virechana should be a better option or vamana could be better option shamanam vapi or the other the next option would be shamana chikitsa you may give some patana dravyas and then go home much the sevanam avoiding that uh, the virudhaha and consumption of the hitahara for the maintenance of that hitahara is a the better option so remedy for accidental consumption of the virudhaara ideally you should not take the virudhaara but if at all you have consumed the virudhaara then either virechana vamana or shamana chikitsa they are suggested satna to alpataya vapi deeptagne tarana sita snigdha vyayama badinam viruddham vitatham bhavet a person who has a satna who has become condition to that specific substance or due to a relatively small quantity of the viruddha ahara consumed or if the patient has a person has a deep agni the agni bala is quite more or if a person is young person in a young age you may not are stick the vyayama badina those who do regular exercise even a viruddha ahara may not show its symptoms so when you 
take pizza or the whatever that we were uh, burger and so on now in the young age in the when you are in the student period you may not know the uh, you may not feel that uh, discomfort produced due to that apatya ahara but this can have a cumulative effect and hence it can result in later on the diseases related to the doshas and asa vataguna and vakshamaha now at the same time there again in the sushudas that classroom there must have been some question of some other sort like how you know that vata has aggravated or pitta has aggravated so on so there was a diversion from the basic topic of the dietetics and it goes into the vata guna purvam samudharah sligdah lavanashtivam ardah guru viraha janah ratta pitta bhavardanah kshatanam vishayustanam radinah shleshmarashti tesham mein visheshena sada yoga vivardanah वातानाम प्रशस्ता श्रांता कपशोषिणा मधुश्च अतिदाही कषा अनुरसो लघु दक्षिण मारुतश्रेष्ठ चक्षुष बलवर्धन रक्तपित प्रशम न वात प्रकोपण विशगो रुक्षपुरुष खर स्नेह बलाप पश्चिम मारुतस्तीक्षण कप मेघो विशोषण सद्य प्राणक्षेत्र शोषणस्तु शरीरण उत्तरो मारुतस्थ मृदु मधुर एव च कषाया and based upon the direction of the flow there would be different qualities like uh, air air moving from the eastern side would have split the lavana guna and it can producing vidaha and ratha pitta then it can aggravate the ratha pitta now these factors like the air whether it is uh, flowing from the eastern or northern or southern direction again it would be depending upon the geography of that particular area now according to what sushra has said sushra probably might have discussed in the context of northern india like in near the himalayas and there is mentioned like paschima marga tikshna kapa medo vishoshana the paschima marga wind flowing from the western side is considered as a tikshna and a drying up kapa medo vishoshana sadya pranakshayakara it can Re- reduce uh, the wish, uh, this uh, vital power of the person and uh, it dries up the body but this may not be absolutely true in our area in the coastal area those who are living in udupi the western wind the westerly winds would be very moist there will be significant humidity and they aggravate the kapha vyadhi not kapha medo vishoshana they do not dry up the kapha rather it increases so there is a need to review these effects of the air depending upon the geographical factors and there can be a lot of variation so these factors are true in the context of what sushra said and depending upon the geographical location of the area where it was studied so there is a need to study this impact of the these air qualities and impact on the air over the health Uh, this is uh, another uh, issue of uh, a totally new sort of issue for the contemporary science contemporary science doesn't really bother much about that you uh, they are that the analysis would be only based upon the contents there either the pollutants or maybe the um, uh, dust and so on so that's how it's studied but the impact upon the natural capacity natural properties of the air the humidity contents and the their qualities the even warm and so on that fact is another of the issue where the proper study is not done now when i speak about the food nutrition and so on whatever is in who has made a big, very huge project about study of the food nutrition physical activity and in context of prevention of cancer it's a huge budget project and it has released a, a, a this a, a compendium on this food nourishment with more than 1000 pages 1600 pages and uh, it's available there now um, it's a quite important from the indian context that in that uh, the, there is a study of a vast huge uh, areas of these uh, native food substances their impact and their nourishment value and their uh, impact upon the health and diseases particularly cancer 
and when it comes to question of india unfortunately it is a very we should be aware of that the about the india there is one sentence which says in page 163 that there is no native food habit in india it is wonderful india is one country where the paka shastra that science of preparation of the food is presented as a separate science and separate vidya among the 64 vidyas paka shastra is considered as one of the quite important vidya and uh, the you have a huge literature and technique of preparation depending upon the relative areas different different cultures and that huge variations probably you may not have that kind of a rich uh, information in any other country but in the who's data it is simply mentioned that there is virtually no such traditional or native food substance rather the food habits of india are now just have the global impact have the maximum global impact uh, partially true but that our traditional rich knowledge is not really recognized and then there is another para about the food consumption and the quality of food consumption in india i have just copied this page and it's what they have said is there is a significant reduction of the grain consumption particularly coarse grains although this has not affected overall energy consumption this is probably due to large increase in takes of fat and animal protein there is a change in the food habits in india and consumption of food, the uh, these proteins and milk and milk products have increased in lower income households fat comes mainly from vegetable foods with very little consumption of animal fats whereas the highest income host, uh, households the majority of fat is from animal sources and india is major producer of vegetable and fruits and much of which are exported this is what says like indian people they have the source of food but they do not consume properly the food habits are unhealthy and they are totally dependent upon the global information now the healthy diet for adults this is what the who says who advise what should be the ideal diet and again which doesn't really have anything related to the uh, the combination of the food and the direct impact upon the health and this again is i would say like absolutely a very silly information compared to the richness of the information which we have in our traditional sources and of course I, there is no need to read out those who are interested they can just read go through it's exact i have copied it directly from the who uh, source and the maximum claim to work in if you go to the modern literature the maximum advice is about what we call as a, the mediterranean diet pyramid which is supposed to be suitable for all healthy and this is what they say you have to have the maximum is about the physical exercise then the next is the maximum amount of vegetables lesser amount of the non, uh, non vegetarian food and uh, uh, this poultry particularly eggs and poultry that red meat is much lesser and further meats and sweets the less than that alcohol is considered to be moderation and uh, every day water this is what the mediterranean diet which is uh, absolutely silly if you consider the information which we have in india and again another we should be aware of all these issues so it's not directly but very in, in, interesting uh, there is a dietary guidelines for indians uh, released by the national institute of nutrition in 2014 and uh, this has a very uh, elaborate 160 pages uh, document which is suggests about the different diet uh, advices and unfortunately the whole document doesn't have even a reference to the same habits dietetics which are present in our tradition and virtually no reference to that ayurvedic information about the dietetics but this is considered as to be an official document of icmr and presented along with the ministry of health advices and that food pyramid which is suggested by that indian document is almost a copy of the mediterranean diet virtually copy but slight modification it is the same thing like consume adequately eat liberally and eat moderately and eat uh, the uh, sparingly this is what they have suggested classified the food based upon the qualities it is exactly the same mediterranean diet and only one thing is instead of that moderate alcohol it is, has to be it's avoided that's the only good thing which you see over there 
Now, to come to the last point, one quite important and quite essential is that, of course, now we have a lots of uh, regulation about the food uh, quality. You have FSSA and then the POSCO, the uh, uh, regulation authorities where anyone who sells the food should be uh, registered and the quality should be checked. But what we get is now maximum uh, of the food which you get outside is uh, having one of the most toxic substances, the aginomoto or monosodium glutamate. So from that point of view, and FSSA has accepted this as one of the acceptable content of the food. And unfortunately, these are all the controversial issues, but I think I would have to highlight about this issue when we discuss about the rich information about the dietetics in Ayurveda. Monosodium glutamate or the taste maker, aginomoto, which is now an essential content of every food which you consume, Particularly the junk food, all that you are uh, pizza and so on, which I usually criticize, like whenever you consume those food substances, and particularly Chinese food, which has high content of that aginomoto, is considered to be highly toxic, it has a cumulative property, and the immediate co uh, complications or immediate symptoms produced due to consumption of this aginomoto is a headache, flushing, sweating, and so on. And in long run, it's a toxic to the kidney, toxic to the liver and uh, even neurotoxic, it can produce the neurotoxicity. But unfortunately, this has become an essential component. People use more of aginomoto, more than that of uh, the salt even. Uh, and uh, till very recently, uh, maybe it was initially limited to the hotels and uh, those commercial food producers. But unfortunately, now it has entered into the home kitchen even. So at least, if we do not go into further details, at least, we should be in a position to avoid these uh, toxic food substances and maintain the health as such. Uh, with this, it is social sometimes Sutra Stanya Hitati Yonama Vimsho Chaya. Healthy diet planning is the mainstay of staying healthy. Concept of Patya, Patya, Viruddha, Harari, new contributions of uh, Ayurveda and they need to be maintained. And uh, when I said about that uh, dietetics of the ICMR, there was a, a issue, uh, somewhat talk about a preparation of a, a dietetics from Ayush ministry also, and but it hasn't yet gained momentum. And if at all possible, it should be there, and we should be in a position to retrieve those traditional information about the dietetics and bring it to the use of a common man and maintain the improve the health of the nation. With this, I would like to conclude.